For the last couple of days, the air pollution levels across North India have been absolutely horrific. What people are breathing out there is absolute poison. Let's be very clear about it. And the question which keeps coming up this time, as indeed it has come up in the past, is whether air purifiers work. But as we talk about air purifiers, it's important to note that not many people can access them. They are quite expensive and people don't have an option but to actually step out in most cases. That's where you get exposed. But to the question of whether air purifiers work or not, I've got an app which measures what the PM10 and PM2.5 count is. I'm outdoors. Let's see what it is. And then I'm going to go inside uh, and see. It's 330 is the PM2.5 count. We can take a look at what the machine says right over here. Remember, PM2.5 is the most dangerous tiny particles which get into your lungs. It can affect your brain. It can affect your kidneys. This is what causes death. So that's what it is, 333. That's horrific. Think about it. What 15 mg is what the World Health Organization says it should be. It's more than 335 now. I'm going to step in. Let's see what it is inside. And then I'm going to go to a confined space to see if the air purifier over there actually works. We're inside our edit bay right now in NDTV. Now, those numbers were at 300 plus out there. If we see what uh, the machine registers, it immediately starts going down. Azam, if you f uh, zoom in on this, it's down to 250. It's down to 241, right? 237, 233. Now, we are in an indoor space over here. It's not got an air purifier in this particular area. But the point is this that it is considerably cleaner indoors. What I'm now going to do is go to another part of the office and then I'm going to go into my room where there is an air purifier and let's see what the count there is. So this is the, uh, the newsroom over here. Now we do have a handful of air purifiers in this office and it's come down further as you can see, 152. But the key point that we need to make over here is this in a large space like this where there are open doors there is constant air pollution that comes in pm10 pm 2.5 whatever it is and therefore this is not a space which can be at all considered clean it's not because this is at 146 several times above what the pm 2.5 count is but come with me up to my room where i've got an air purifier it's a closed space and then let's see what the sensor actually has to say Azam, come on in. All right, so this is a space where, as you can see, I've got a little air purifier. It's not little, it's actually quite a large one, which has been operating. It is a small space. Let's keep this sensor, come on in, Azam, uh, down over here and see what actually happens. All right, it's already down to 90 and it's going to go down. So shut that door. So we've got the door which is shut. It's down to 86 and it's staying there for a moment. 85 and it's going to actually go down. We walked in so there's been a lot of the air which has come in which is not clean. But the point is this, this is going to go down to below 50. That's when the air is actually ballpark safe. Air purifiers do work. They work in an enclosed space like this.